Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be talking about all the things that I picked up at the drugstore. Um, this is not everything I purchased um, in one haul. <laughs> um, I usually try to pick up things slowly, on sale, you know, at a discount, whatever. And then once I have enough products to talk about, I'll sit down and film with you guys. So that's kind of how I go through it. I do not just like buy all this makeup at once. So let me go ahead and grab my giant Ulta box. I didn't get all of these items from Ulta, but um, just to kind of keep myself organized, I just use boxes and stuff. So let's just go ahead and go through this. Whew, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm going to talk about my e.l.f. products. I usually buy my e.l.f. products from either the directly from the e.l.f. website. They have um, free shipping on $15 or more, which is really, really affordable. It's like one of the most affordable free shipping offers I've ever seen. Um, which is not surprising because e.l.f. has very affordable makeup. Um, so yeah. Um, I got this Ride or Die Lip Balm in Mighty Mint. I actually have other ones. Um, I already bought these earlier um, in my last whatever haul I think I talked about them. Um, I had the shade Just Peachy and I also have another one like in a nude shade. But I went ahead and decided to get the Mighty Mint since I've heard really good things about this one in particular. But this one has a really nice moisturizing minty like overnight kind of situation. I think that's a really good idea. Or just to throw in my purse for when I'm wearing a mask and I kind of don't want, you know, my lip color transferring to my mask. Um, having a nice lip balm that's clear without any color was really nice to have. So I decided to go ahead and pick up this color as well, the no color. Um, I also bought, they have these new setting sprays. Um, I got the Dewy Coconut Setting Spray. And I also bought the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. This kind of sounds like a dupe for the um, Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm sorry, like that you can see my my lights in the background. Um, Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. Um, I actually haven't tested the misters on these, but it seems like they're going to be good ones just because they're marketing them as a mist versus a sprayer or spray, you know. So I haven't tried them though. I'm really, really excited to try these. I thought I would, you know, get my haul video out of the way before uh, I can go ahead and jump into those. Um, I also picked up the um, e.l.f. BB Cream with um, 20 SPF sunscreen in the shade Nude. Um, it looks a little deep for me, but we will see on that one. It looks a little, I want to say orange too, so that would have, um, I should have gotten a different shade just to mix in. Um, yeah, I didn't grab a second shade. I thought I might have, but I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, it's Sunday afternoon. Kids are playing outside. You can hear them. Anyways, yeah, so I did go ahead and pick it pick up that. I wish I would have picked up a different shade just to mix in. They're pretty affordable, so I don't mind mixing when it's elf, you know. If it was a $60 foundation, I would not do that. And then I also picked up more of these. Oh my goodness. Falling apart. No. The lid fell off in the box. These lids are not very secure. I got, like, I don't know if I got a dud. I haven't had this issue with. So I had this shade. This is the shade um, Golden Pear, and I really loved it. Yeah, this one's a dud. So the lid actually stays on this one for whatever reason. I also got the shade Wild Peach and the lid doesn't want to like stay on. It just does not stay on. It just keeps popping off. So I don't know. I got a dud, unfortunately, but I picked up um, Wild Peach as well because I love the golden pear. And I also picked up um, Orange Crush. So more shades because I really, really did love my golden pear shade. Sometimes, sometimes I'll do that when it's stuff that I know won't sell out. <laughs> Forgetting about the, the light. Um, when I know it's items that won't sell out, I will try them first and then I will go pick up more colors if I like it. So um, I did really love this shade and I love the formula. I love how pigmented it is. So I went ahead and picked up two more colors. So I, again, Wild Peach and Orange Crush. 
which I'm super, again, excited about. Um, uh, it's not all from Elba, no. <laughs> no, not even close. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Keep going with Elf. Okay. Okay, right, I bought a lot from Elf. I bought <laughs> this, um, multi-use, uh, what was it called? Multi Monochromatic multi-stick. I got the shade, um, Glistening Peach, which is really, really fair. I should have, it's like a highlight for me. <laughs> um... And the swatches, it looked a little deeper, but I guess not. I also got the shade Guava. Um, I already took this one out of the packaging because I was unsure about it. And of course, it wasn't, yeah, it's too light for me. But it's so affordable. It's like like five bucks. I'm not going to return it. Four or five dollars. I'm not going to return it. Um, but I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll mix them. And then again, I got um, Glimmering Guava as well. That looked like a more perfect shade for me. I haven't swatched it though. And I also got... Um, glowing mango because i think this is probably a really good dupe for fenty beauties like orangey like yellow color i kind of want to swatch them next to each other to see if it's a good dupe i think it might be if anything i don't think fenty's is pigmented enough so i hope that this is more pigmented um fenty's blush for whatever reason just in that color is really sheer and i don't like that so I'm like what's the point of that and then I also picked up two more. Um, these are new brushes from e.l.f. They are um, angled buffing, buffing, <laughs> angled bluff, I can't talk. Oh my gosh, guys. Angled buffing brushes. Buffing brushes was giving me a hard time for whatever reason. Um, these are new and they're angled now, um, which I thought was really neat because that, that's really good for um, cream contour and bronzer. So um, I thought that was, and I'm in a um, bronzer, cream blush and bronzer kick. So I decided to pick up two, one for bronzer, one for blush. Um, just so, I mean, I don't mind mixing them sometimes, but if I don't have to, I prefer not to. So I picked up two of those. And then I also picked up this L'Oreal Magic Perfecting uh, Base. I know um, Jen Phelps, um, she, her old handle was uh, Beauty Addiction or Beauty Addiction. Um, she really, really recommends this and she like hands down says this is like the best primer she's ever tried for pores and I have a lot of pore problems. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this up and try it for myself. Um, she says it's so good for pore filling and I'm like, it's exactly what I need. Okay, um, oh my goodness, where to start, where to start, okay. So NYX, I picked up a few things from NYX. I got more butter glosses. Um, I got the shade Bit of Honey and Madeline. They just look like really good shades for me. Um, I know I picked up um, a long time ago other shades and I feel like they were too pink for me. So I wanted to kind of, I, I decluttered the ones that were too pink for me and I wanted to go ahead and try those because I do, I do like the formula of those. Um, and then I picked up, okay, some glosses. I picked up the Essence Shine 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 um, wet gloss. I have the clear one and I really like it. And then I saw this Peaches and Cream and I'm like, ooh, this looks like so pretty. <laughs> I love a nice, like, cute, brightening peach shade. So I kind of wanted to pick that one up as well. Um, I picked up some NYX liners. I got the shade Expresso. Again, these are lip liners. Yeah, lip liners. I got the shade um, Natural and Beige. Uh, beige has a little bit of shimmer in it. The other two are matte. And then I also picked up a soft contouring lip liner in the shade Deeply Intoxicated. Um, this looked more brown online. <laughs> it looks like a wine red, so, you know, it is what it is. Online isn't always accurate, but Essence was only, oh, yeah, this is an es Essence soft contouring. Um, they're only like two or three dollars, so, you know, uh, I'll probably get some use out of it. I need to declutter a lot of my lip liners. They're like super old. And then, um, I also got these new Maybelline lifter glosses. I've got, had these for like a month now, just sitting in a box waiting for this video. Um, these look so, so pretty. I wonder if they're, I already heard that these are good dupes for the Fenty gloss bombs. And if that is true, like <laughs> that would be so awesome just because there's so many, like there's like double the shades and they're all like nudes. They're mostly all nudes, which I really, really like. Cause it's kind of all I use. 
our nudes so um yeah i'm super excited about these i got like three very similar shades i know uh these two don't have any shimmer in it but this one does this is in the shade topaz um stone and amber amber stone and topaz topaz has the shimmer in it oh they all look so pretty um when i was in the store at target because i bought these at target i bought these all at different places <clears throat> at my drugstore i just get it wherever i see it I these at Target and I was like in Target and I'm like oh my god all of these look so similar I mean but they're just a little bit different <laughs> so I kind of justified buying all three of them but uh, girl doesn't your girl doesn't need any more gloss let me just remember. and then I also bought this Essence Lashes of the Day um one of my favorite YouTubers <clears throat> can't talk my favorite YouTubers um Juicy Jazz if you guys haven't seen her she's amazing um she has like raved about this one and she recently like picked up another one a backup and I'm like when a youtuber picks up a backup when they have like hundreds of mascara options you know thrown at their door and they go out and buy rebuy a mascara it has to be good it has to so I went ahead and <laughs> purchased this one so yeah I actually purchased it before she had repurchased hers but like after like um she had re she mentioned that she had repurchased one I was like yep that was I was like, I, I'm glad I bought it. I'm like, I have to try that. She repurchased it. I have to buy it. And then, okay, next few things. I bought this LA Girl sponge. Taylor Wynn, again, I, I buy into the hype. And, like, I trust the YouTubers I follow. Like, I only follow, like, a handful of them. And I really do trust what they tell me, you know, or, like, I know how to interpret the information they're giving me. So... You know, Taylor when um, her skin problems are kind of different than mine, but um, how should I tell him? But like when she recommends a sponge, a sponge is kind of universal, um, not always, but you know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't affect, like if we, we have different skin types, a sponge isn't really going to affect that, you know? Or, so I can still take her advice on a sponge, you know? And she really, really raves about this. She's been raving about this sponge for years except um la girl only had these on their website on their website for a long time um and finally ulta has them now so i was able to pick it up at ulta finally um i'm like what took them so long <laughs> you know in a single on the la girl website they only had the duos and like usually i couldn't figure out enough stuff that i wanted in my cart to get free shipping so i never bought from them <laughs> but i always wanted those like i went so many times to the la girl website to pick that to pick it up and then i never ended up getting enough stuff in my cart to justify paying for shipping you know what i'm saying so and then from la girl again i um i got this keep it playful eye palette in downplay isn't this like the most like perfect neutral smoky eye palette like I love all of these like neutral shades on the top half, like cool, cool, like warm, cool, and then like gray, grungy, smoky colors. I'm like, that is perfect. I wanted like a smoky palette like this, but I'm like, mm. when a smoke show from ColourPop came out, I'm like, I'm only gonna use that like once a year. You know, it doesn't really make sense for all those smoky shades. I'm not gonna use it. Um, but when I saw this from LA Color, you know, it has my neutrals, my warm neutrals, my neutral neutrals, and then smoky blacks. I'm like, this is just what I need. Something like this. Something that's a good balance of what I would use and what I'm not going to use as much, you know. But um, just, I ha just to have it, you know, I need those grays and those smoky grungy shades. Like, everyone needs that in their collection. Um, but I'm like, but it still has my warmth and my neutrals. And it's just, this is a really good balance. I'm like, I need this. And I've heard that LA Girl is really stepping up on their quality. So I'm like, I need to try that. I need to see how true that is, you know? <laughs> okay. Going on a couple of cheek products. I bought the um, Essence Pure Nude. I had the lighter shade. Um, I don't remember what, what it was called. But this one's Be, Be My Sunlight. Um, in the shade 40 and it's like a bronzy deeper gold I feel like I feel like it's a really light bronze like a gold bronze um, and because the other one seemed too light for me I've seen other people use it I don't know if I got a dud but mine pools like very iridescent like it's a champagne color that pools blue and purple which I know it doesn't make any sense to me I'm like showing you the other stuff in my hand <laughs> but um I thought it was really strange so I'm like maybe I got a dud or maybe it's the shade that's just too light for me 
So I went ahead and pulled it or got this color. This one's deeper. It looks a little too deep in the pan, but maybe it's like the other one where the other one looks deeper in the pan and it looks lighter on the skin. I'm hoping that this one's going to pull lighter on the skin. So and be, you know, work for me. And then um, I also picked up this Age Perfect Radiant Blush um, from L'Oreal in the shade oh my goodness, Marigold. You guys see that? It's like a really bright, bright orange coral shade. It's like, oh my goodness, guys. It's almost a red. It's like a very, very bright orange coral. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's so beautiful. It's so bright. I thought this blush was so, so unique that I had to add it to my collection. I just, I don't think I have anything like this. It's so bright. It kind of reminds me of the Benefit uh, Coralista. I don't know. I don't remember. I can't remember. But I feel like this one's still more like orange, like a true bright, I don't know. It's just, it's so unique to me. I was like, I have to get it. I'm like, I really don't have that blush. And I, was, I really want to try that blush. <laughs> I really want to try it. Um, I also got this Catrice Sungasm. Oh my goodness. I've heard so many good things about this. Look how huge this pan is. It's like, guys, guys. Like, this is like bigger than a baby's head. Like It's smaller than my head, obviously. But like bigger than a baby's, I'm sure. Like It's huge. Um, yeah, that's, that's generous. That's very, very generous. Yeah, there's almost a full ounce of product in here. When have you seen a powder that's a full ounce? It's 0.98 ounces. I just haven't. That's crazy. That's so much product. So much product. I'm like trying to compare it to something. I don't know. This is a lot of product. This is huge. I love this. Um, this is awesome. It was super affordable too. I think it was only like 10 bucks, but it's like massive, guys. An ounce of highlighter. An ounce. Like this is 0.3. This is like a third. A third of the size. Just saying. Ah! Yeah. A third. A third. I'm just saying. Catrice. Guys, I'm never going to go through that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Which, if I love it, it'll be perfect. You know? I also picked up this uh, Juvia's Place The Nude. So I was holding off on this. Um, I don't know why. I haven't loved... Juvia's Place formula for whatever reason I feel like it's too pigmented and it's kind of hard for me to use um it's the color stories are beautiful but they're almost too colorful for me again it's just personal preference um I just never saw myself reaching for them but then they came out with these mini ones and then this like oh gosh let's see <laughs> Okay, I'm so glad I bought this. It's so, so pretty and so up my alley. Um, this does look a little more mustard, like a mustard green than I want, than I wanted. But these other shimmer shades look so, so pretty. I, yeah, I can see. Oh, I already got a hair on it. Oh, that was me, I'm sure. Um, it already looks so pretty. I wanted to pick up, um, they have like a pink peach one and then there is like a... A taupe. The taupe one has been sold out everywhere. I want the taupe one so bad. I want the taupe one. I don't have anything like the taupe one. So I really want to get that one. I'm kind of... I think I also picked up the Nomad. That one's going to come later though. Um, just because um, Jen Phelps said that it's kind of like a dupe. I don't want to say dupe. It's similar to the... Um, the Juvia's Place Nomad, Nomad palette is similar to... The Huda Beauty khaki and I thought it would, I'm like okay maybe they're not dupes for each other but I think they'd be really cool complementary palettes to each other you know the shades are very similar but like I think the Juvia's Place ones were a little brighter so I'm like I might actually like that together um obviously you don't need to do that but uh, I just thought it was like whoa I'm like those actually look really pretty like together I think like I can't wait to use them you know but I'm like maybe not on camera because I don't want to suggest two palettes for you guys but you know when I'm going out and doing a nice khaki you know green whatever eye color um I kind of want the freedom to kind of dip in multiple palettes if I want to so 
and length. I think they would complement each other very, very well. I haven't tried either of them. I already bought them both. <laughs> um, um, they're scheduled to come in, but um, yeah, they're very, very pretty palettes, so I'm excited. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys being here. I love you guys so much. Um, that was it. That was that was it. That was a lot, but that was it. <laughs> that was all I got from um, not all, but that was a lot of what I got from the drugstore. I have another video coming up. It's an Ulta haul. Oh my goodness, I buy way too much makeup, guys. I, I'm aware. I have a problem. I need to stop. Stop, girl. Stop. I know. Maybe at the new year, I'll like, I'll decide something. I need to like have something concrete because I need to slow some of this thing down. This is. This is getting to be too much. I have too much. Okay. That's it. And I don't even get it for free. I pay for it. So. Your girl's crazy. She's crazy. Whew. Anyways, rant over. Uh, everyone's aware. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not healthy. <laughs> um, nothing about this is healthy. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one.